some of the adventures that I had as a hobby potter. Uh, where I just do clay in the spare cracks of time that I have, come out to my workshop and do the things that I like to do this week. Okay, started last Saturday. I went to a yard sale, and actually I'm about ready to go to another one in maybe five minutes before my husband comes out here making this intro video. But I got some two wonderful finds for $2 a piece, these great rolling tables. I'll share those with you. Also, da, 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 you can't see it, but my slab roller, I've had it here for four years. You've probably even seen it throughout my shop. Got that thing working. My father-in-law made it for me, and it just never really quite worked, but hubby and I worked together and got it working. I'm so excited. A whole new world just opened up. And some pieces that I'm going to be submitting to the Lodi Spring Show. It's a juried show. I have to take pictures of it in about <clears throat> three hours or so, but... And I, I made the teapot, which you saw me making last week, a sculptured piece, and I'm going to submit those. Got them all bisked and fired and glazed and fired uh, within this last week. So um, <clears throat> now the teapot. Let me share with you about the teapot. I love my little teapot. Oh, I do. I think it's so cute, you know. But... I made a boo-boo. You know how you, you, you work on a piece and it, you, want, you don't want it to go too far? Well, I took it just one step too far. I tried a new satin glaze on the outside, um, and it didn't quite come out the way I wanted to, but I still like it enough to submit. If I didn't like it, I, I wouldn't submit it for this juried show, but I do like it still. But it's not exactly how I envisioned in my head. Now I know what I would have done differently. Uh, don't try a new glaze on a piece that matters. So, <laughs> lesson learned. And I hope you guys enjoyed my journey. Let's get started. Okay, I went to a yard sale and I got this amazing table. And I know it's meant for plants, but I'm going to adapt it to my workshop. Um, I was talking with my husband and came up with some great ideas to make things more convenient. I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but this is one of the finds. Um, if I divide it up, I think I got this for $2. Um, he's just gorilla gluing it, uh, the parts together to make them more secure, but it's going to roll around and it's about waist high. So Here's another great find, and actually I got that along with the other table. Uh, this was um, $2, $2, $2.50, but it's amazing. It's a utility cart for, I think it was used at a school district, so it must have been when they had movies, but uh, another rollable cart, which I, I'm going to have tons of uses for. I really uh, have always wanted them. So. Okay, this is very exciting. My husband is helping me get the slab roller working, and I know I showed this maybe a good <laughs> three years ago, four years ago, maybe five years ago, and I've, I can't remember how long I've had it, but it has never worked, and it's handmade by my father-in-law, and we've been just kind of putting it off, and today was the day he's helping me figure out how to get it to work. Uh, so here we go. Let's stick it in there and see if it works. Dun dun dun! A slab! Okay, it's in between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch. There you go, three eighths!
Okay, I am nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, okay, it's 83 degrees in there. Wow, and outside it's probably about 45. So, okay, 13 hours, 55 minutes. Huh. I had it on a pre-soak, or a preheat, so that it would go slow. Oh, I'm nervous to open this. I put these in, and it was so cold I couldn't tell if they were still damp. <gasps> oh, good. Oh, that's great. Oh, it didn't explode. I was really nervous. I've never fired this clay before, and I know I said it on a past video, but this is the new clay. This is the, um... Oh, yay, I'm so thrilled. This is exciting.
my dilemma here. I love the pot like this. Okay, I love the, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I actually added, you can't, you may not be able to see it in the camera yet, but I did the watercolors, the, the watercolor underglaze here, and I, I put blue in between on the green letter side. And then I put uh, green in between on the blue letter side. So to me, I, I'm happy, I'm really happy with this pot. I'm about ready to put some um, satin clear on it. This is not a functional piece, by the way. This is just decorative. Now here. Okay, that is all I am putting in here. Uh, it's just because I need to have these out by Saturday. They actually, these two are the ones I need to have out by Saturday and have pictures taken of because I'm going to be submitting them. Uh, I'll share a little bit more about that later, but uh, here we go. Final firing. A little nervous. Okay, Thursday, February 26th at 3.35 p.m. I'm starting the kiln. It's time to crack this baby open. It fired for 12 hours, 23 minutes, and it's 153 degrees inside. Here we go. I do like it. You know, I love the feel of satin, and that's why I wanted to put it on there because I wanted it to feel good. But it actually would have looked a lot better if I could have just fired it on its own and left it. You know, I shouldn't have put the satin on it. And then this, this would have been the perfect pot for me. But hope you guys enjoyed today, and we will see you next time on Hobby Potter Weekly.